Signalfire AI20, AI30 Optical Fiber Splicer Operation Tutorial. Included Tools. Open the box. Toolbox Strap. Power Cord. Open the top cover. Operating Instructions. Power Adapter. Climbing Combination Hanging Chain. Spare Electrodes. Cotton Swabs. Allen Wrench. Fiber Splicer Hand Strap. Brush. Alcohol Bottle. Buckle up the strap and hanging chain, and you can easily climb up for construction. The toolbox can be combined into a workbench as a base, and the top cover can be a stool. Open the tool compartment on the right. Equipped with a 9-in-1 fiber optic stripper. Fiber splicing process. Before the first time fiber splicing, the operation introduction prompt will appear when the machine is turned on. Press the continue key twice to enter the fiber fusion interface. Once the splicing is completed once, this prompt will not appear again. Unlock the fiber cleaver. The fiber cleaver can only work when the machine is turned on. Put on the heat shrink tube. Stripping the fiber cladding. Wipe the optical fiber with alcohol. Cleave the optical fiber. This is the latest electric one-step optical fiber cleaver developed by Signal Fire. It can automatically cleave the fiber by pressing the cap and delay the blade return without damaging the optical fiber. Put the fiber on the fiber holder. The method of the fiber putting on the fiber holder. The coating layer cannot exceed the clamp. The fiber end face need to exceed the v-groove and should be close to the electrode tips but does not exceed the electrode tip. When the machine lid closing, the fiber will auto splice. Automatic detection of the optical fiber end angle. Estimated fusion loss will show on screen when the splice is successful. Heat shrink tube heating. Open the cooling tray and heating oven. Move the heat shrink tube to protect the bare fiber splicing point. Automatic closing of the cover after put the fiber on the heater. The indicator light comes on and the heating is turned on. A PP can set the preset heating time. The indicator light goes out and the heating is completed. Take out the optical fiber and put it into the cooling tray. Take out the waste fiber box and pour out the waste fiber. Fiber stripping. Fiber drop cable. Optical cable. Insert 2 mm regular fiber drop cable guiding port. Peel off the jacket. Stripping coating. Clean the fiber. The jaws of the pliers for fiber drop cable load bearing wires will curl when the load bearing wire is cut, but it does not affect the use. It is also strictly forbidden to directly cut fiber drop cable or other wires. Fiber jumper cable. Maximum Miller jaws to remove the outside jacket. The front scissors cut the Kevlar fiber. This jaw is dedicated to Kevlar and cannot be used for other cutting. Medium jaws to remove the white jacket. Scrape off the coating. Wipe the optical fiber. Cotton swabs. Rotating cleaning cotton rod can easily remove the dirt. Cleaning cotton rod can be replaced. Cleave the fiber. Make optical fiber. The fiber coating stripping point is placed within 15 millimeters of the clamping plate scale, and the front end of the fiber extends beyond the right fiber pressing plate. Fiber drop cable. The fiber drop cable jacket end face is against the splint stop clamping plate edge. The fiber end face need to exceed the right press plate. Fiber jumper cable. The white jacket is placed within 15 mm of the splint scale. The fiber end face need to exceed the right press plate. Press down the cleaver cover to complete the fiber cutting. Visual fault locator and optical power meter. The right side integrates VFL and OPM, which can measure splicing loss and switch measurement parameters with one button. 
Charging method. 7,800 mA lithium battery. High power charger. Two charging ports. Three charging methods and ultra long battery life. Signal Fire 2. Download APP. Get permissions. No pairing required from Bluetooth. Click the phone number to connect to Bluetooth directly in a PP. APP Introduction. Language Selection. Supports English, Spanish, and other languages. Learning Operation. There are operating instructions, such as discharge calibration. For new machines and large changes in external environment, discharge calibration is required to achieve the best splicing state. Splicing setting. You can turn the fiber splicer function on and off, and set parameters. Cleaver setting. You can view the number of cuts at the current point, and the total number of cuts by the blade. When the number of cuts at a cutting point is greater than 1000 and three consecutive cuts are unqualified, the blade will automatically change cutting point or you can manually change cutting point by pressing a button. Fiber cleaver parameter settings. Parameters such as delayed return time can be set. Read records. Records can be exported and uploaded. 